Hello. So today was another bout of insanity. I spent three and a half hours looking for my phone because it fell off the side of the bed and I couldn't reach it. And my friend, who is a guy but is skinnier than me, was able to go and finally find it for me. I was going crazy because I knew it was in the room, but yet I still couldn't find it. Just, um, Austin City Limits is this weekend, the music festival. I'm not sure if I'm going, but if I do, tons of my friends are going to be there, so I'm really super excited about that. Okay, so uh, since Claire didn't name the characters, I think that I'm going to name the girl Ella and the boy Eric, just because, I don't know, they both start with E's, four letters, I kind of like them. So the boy Eric has just been pulled in to this, I guess, alternate universe where Ella lives inside the mirror. When Eric gets there, he's really terrified because when you walk into the room, it's just mirrors all down the side and he sees this girl all over them and he kind of starts freaking out and she tells him to calm down it's okay she just wants to talk to him so he's like okay this girl doesn't look very threatening i'll just you know listen to what she has to say so basically what she tells him is that in her society mirrors have been outlawed and that she found a mirror one of the few mirrors that hadn't been broken. So she wanted to know what it was. And she looked at it for the longest time and wondered who the person was looking back at her. And she just said she didn't understand it and that she looked at it for a long enough time and realized that it was herself. And as soon as she realized that it was her, her then Eric came through the mirrors. Ella is the only person in her society that knows what the purpose of a mirror is and it sort of scares her because for one she's never actually seen herself so she doesn't really know what she looks like and two she's wondering why such a clever invention would have been outlawed they say or what they teach them in school is that mirrors have been outlawed because they create vanity and insecurity in people and ella never really understood that since she had never seen a mirror now that she saw herself, she felt what those people must have meant. She was extremely happy to see herself, because now she could actually put a face to her own mind. But she was also really scared, because now she wondered, you know, before all I thought about myself was, was inside of me. It appeared to me that that's the only thing that people judged me off of, because I could never see myself. She never knew whether she was ordinary looking or tall or short or pretty or not and she all, all she knew was what was inside herself and so now she's wondering how other people see her and it really scares her and so she asks Eric what she should do about that and Cindy or whoever wants to can continue from there I think that's pretty much it I don't really have much to say I guess I am um, we got our messages from Charlie's sister about who our Halloween uh, secret pumpkin powell Santa whatever person is gonna be so I uh, will be sending mine out tomorrow you will probably know that it's from me but oh well I'm just gonna let you figure that out yourself I'll probably be sending all of you something actually just because it's fun <laughs> um I look forward to hearing the rest of the story I will see you all soon and have a good day